It is that time for our pet of the week and our veterinarian here to answer some of your questions. We welcome back Dr. Paul Welch from Forest Trails Animal Hospital and Nikita is with yes. him today. So Nikita is three years old and you think a short or uh, long a long haired chihuahua. OK, long haired chihuahua. Look yeah. at how cute she is. And I heard she plays well with other dogs. She mm -hmm. likes little yeah. friends, yeah. kind of perks up. So if you'd like to adopt little Nikita, of course, named after the Elton John song, we had <laughs> little Jeannie in here earlier. So you know how it goes. 622-5962 uh, is our number. You can visit the ARF house at LaFortune Park during the hours on your screen. You can also visit newson6.com slash pet for other pets who need to be adopted. So a few questions. Yeah. As normal. Here we go. First one. We okay. started putting our dog in a sweater when it gets really cold out. Is it safe for him to sleep in the sweater? Yeah, they really shouldn't be any problem at all. You just want to make sure they don't get tangled up in it. Sometimes you'll get puppies at rough house and they'll get a, a leg stuck here and yeah. there or something. But you'll be able to figure that, that out pretty quickly. Make sure they uh, fit. And, you know, it, it really is. A lot of these dogs really are comfortable if it's cold outside in, you know, in sweaters or little jackets. And I used to think that was ridiculous. But, by gosh, it really does work. And, the, uh, and then also a lot of times the dogs that are kind of insecure, especially with thunder and things like this, do quite well when they're in some dog clothes and sweaters, believe it or not. Oh. So. Very cool. So. And it's cute too. Bonus. They look good. That's right. My cat eats her food really quickly and mm. often gets sick afterwards. So how can I slow her down? Okay. A lot of times in cats we call this a hiatal hernia. And what it is, it's where they uh, uh, basically they eat real quickly and it kind of causes their stomach to spasm and, and the food will basically be thrown up within about oh, 15 or 20 minutes after they eat. And it's, it's not dangerous or anything like this, but it's a mess and uh, bothers people. And, of course, they're not getting their food. Um, the best thing is if they're eating real quickly, what I like to do is take their food and put it on a plate instead of a bowl. That way they have to pick it up individually and it slows down their eating. If you have a dog the same way, you can just put their food in a bunt pan or something like this. And they have to oh. kind of like a donut, they have to eat their way around. So that works. And, uh, and then if they keep doing that, a lot of times you can change their food. A lot of times just uh, change to a different dry or to a canned formula. And that works pretty well, believe a it or not. A bunt pan. Yeah. What just slows trick. them down. The other trick is take their dish and put a brick or something in the middle. So they have to eat around it. It's, it's, it's a trick. They use for horses and dogs and cats, everything. It's just full of great wisdom. I did just all sorts of weird stuff. <laughs> this next one, my dog's skin is really dry this winter. Is there anything I can do to help it? Yeah, a lot of times omega-3 fatty acids work very nicely. And the easiest way to do that, honestly, is um, fish oil capsules or fish oil. Uh, your veterinarian may carry some fatty acid supplements too, and that would be fine. Um, your coconut oil and some of the things like that don't really get you there. So although it, it's oil, it, it doesn't have the omega-3s that you're looking for. So uh, fish oil, and generally it's be like one capsule uh, from the grocery store once a day for a Labrador retriever. And if they're smaller dogs, just stick a capsule with a pin or something, drip a few drops on their food. And it's just uh, very good as far as increasing the oil in the diet. And it just... Like us, if we eat a lot of fried foods, we'll get an oily complexion. If they get some oil, it'll help, you know, kind of lubricate up their uh, skin also. Okay. So. Well, Dr. Welch, okay, thank okay. you very much, and Happy New Year. Yes, thank you. You too. You can always email us questions, noonshow at newson6.net.